After 7 whole months of not doing it, After Nights Weekly is finally back to treat you guys every single Monday. It's been something I want to do consistently but I couldn't manage it in the front of the year because I got very busy with things that happened in my life. I'm still a university student but I think I'm prepared from here on to give you guys a wonderful video every single week. This is going to give you news about Art Nights or other Hypergriff related games. So, strap on and we shall get started with the news. Now, getting you acclimatized to this program by the way, every single week I will answer the most liked comment that has a question for me. So there was a leftover comment from the previous video and I shall answer it over here. Which NPC do I want to see the most? Well, I gotta say I can't fully recall his name. I'm gonna think it's called it's, it's, is it Dimitri? I feel like it's Dimitri. I might be wrong. No, I think that's the name of the boss. Whatever it is, it's the red colored hair guy that comes from Il Sirokusano. He's the guy that kind of follows around Vigil. I cannot fully recall his name, but he looks really cool. That's the NPC I want to see in the game. The biggest thing you want to know from this video is what's the next event. And of course, it's going to be Il Sirokusano rerun. This happens on the 23rd or 24th of May, depending on where you live. Now, like all other limited events, this doesn't have a banner rerun. So that means you won't be seeing a Texas Altar and Penance banner. No special banners, just the standard ones that's happening. All you'll be doing within this event is to farm for the materials that you need, which includes incandescent alloy, compound cutting fluid, and Ori Rock Cluster. So this is pretty much a chill time if you've already played the event, all you'll be doing is replaying the stages, redo your trust farms for the last three stages to get the materials, and if you're new to it, well, you get to experience one of the interesting events of the past. It was quite fun, I think the story stuff that happens in here is also a great experience. If you missed out on getting Vigil, you can get it in this event and also get his brand new skin for any of you who happen to love Vigil. The skins that we run, there's only three, which comes from the Witch Feast series. So there is Blemishine, Shemer, and Snow Sand that you get to buy once again. Okay, what about the next few events happening after this? What happens after Il Sirokusano rerun? Now, according to the data mines, which means looking into the game files already uploaded, the next event that we're expecting is the Return of Contingency Contract, which is CC1 Battle Plan Pyrolysis. It's going to be a very tricky time and CC won't look exactly the same as what you remember. There's some mishmashing of what you've seen in DOS and Pinch Out and then things that you've seen in past CCs before becoming into one. So some people are okay with it, some people don't really like it. We will talk more about it when it actually drops. But for that, the date of it should be on the 5th of June. Again, might be 6th of June for some of you. So that's what you can look forward to after that two weeks of hellish stages, then we should be getting Dagon Breakers event. Dagon Breakers event doesn't have a confirmed date yet, but it's definitely gonna happen within the end part of June. We are inching very close to the double limited banner, the dreaded one that's gonna happen very soon in Arc Nights. It's double limited because it's gonna be the Chinese New Year banner, that's the one that features Shu and Zuola. And then right after that, it's the return of the Rainbow Six Siege event. Both the brand new one, which is the one that features Ella and Iana, and then the old one as well that has Ash as the featured 6 star, along with all the other R6S companions also. That time is going to be really hype, but if you're wondering generally when that will happen, it's going to be the end of July period, all the way till about mid-August. So it's going to be a series of hype events. I think that's going to be one of the peaks of this year in 2024. More Arknights news, now we go to the Japan side and some of you or I think most of you would be aware that the Japan server has gotten the long fated year 1 KFC skins. It was the skins that the CN server only gotten because they were able to perform a large collaboration with the KFC brand, needing players to go to the KFC stores, buy their food, claim some points and then use it to trade for the skins and other materials within the game as well. JP managed to pull off the same type of event except they did it even more massively. Again, same idea, go and eat some food at the stores, get the points and then you get the skins. And on top of that, they had a lot of merchandise together with it. Arknights X KFC team merchandise. I was longing to make a kind of commentary video on my main channel so I hope to pull that off 
look forward to that because it's going to be a funny one. I think some of you know why it's going to be. But in any case, what about the Ian server? Because we see the JP site celebrating it all. They even had a two-hour long live stream, by the way, on this Saturday. So even if you don't understand Japanese, you can join in that stream to feel the vibes and see the festivities as the voice actors along with Yostar staff enjoying the event. But whatever it is, Ian. So are we going to get the KFC skins? We will according to the Ian Twitter because they stated that we're going to have the event in a different way. Like it's going to be very hard to do a mega scale KFC collaboration in every country when some of them don't even have KFC and it's going to be so many stores to collaborate with. So the way they're going to do it in Ian is supposedly an online event but there's a lot of details that we're missing with things like are we going to need to purchase stuff? Is all of us gonna get it? Is it like a chance event? All these details are simply not out yet, but by the way they word it on Twitter, it seems like as if we will get it by the end of the year. So for now, we gotta give them time to prepare up this event. Understandably, there's gonna be a lot of copyright and things they've gotta discuss with KFC in order to make it accessible to Ian. So since they're already trying their best, we're gonna have to hope for the best and Maybe we'll see it very soon. Okay, now a sidetrack. We're going to a different Hypergriff game that is X Estris. You guys have seen it before. There was a collaboration event with AK where if you buy X Estris, you redeem some code, you can get some special team furniture in AK. So that event's over. Maybe they'll bring it back next time. But what about X Estris that I want to mention? So I don't have a very good review of X Estris. I think there's a lot of issues with it. The gameplay is not very convincing. The storyline isn't that captivating to keep you there. But... From what is seen on the EN Twitter site, they've actually announced that they have a new version update 1.1 where they made tons of changes to the game. From the storylines, the voice lines, the gameplay, the quality of the graphics, a lot of things have improved from then. And I am seeing some people mentioning that they quite like the new way that Accessories looks. So I kind of would have cooked up a negative review for it pretty soon enough in my main channel but since they've done all the effort like Hypergriff really cares for their players I'm gonna have to replay it on a stream pretty soon so if you want to watch that stream again that will happen in my main channel or my twitch you can watch along when it happens but I'm looking forward and if any of you own access trace give it a bit of a revisit since they've actually made optimization and great changes to the game to close out this video we are already at the end of Arturia's event but I do think some of you have missed out a special collaboration that Yostar did with a big YouTuber. Her name is Taylor Davis and she did a wonderful cover of one of the theme songs you get to hear in the event. So this is a bit of my way of promoting it because I think it's a beautiful cover and if you haven't heard of it yet, check that video out right after this. I hope you have enjoyed today's Art Thanks Weekly and I will see you in next week, Monday, where I'll bring you even more news. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in that one. Bye-bye.